Hey everyone, welcome to our Forge tutorial. In the last tutorial, we start making we start making our buttons work. So now we are able to put some numbers into our text area, but we are not able to do anything else. So today we're gonna continue to do the rest of the buttons. So first of all, what I need to do is I want to read the numbers from this text area, but everything I put into that text area is a string. So I need to read it. And change the uh, change it to, or convert it to a double number, so I can make a um, simple operation. Reading a number from this area, I want to uh, have another class. And I want to have three, three double numbers, number, number two, and result, uh, integer a at c, zero, um, sub c, zero, multi c, zero, and dc, sorry, dc, zero. Okay, so now I can do my I can do my add function or add button work. So I'm gonna do that if source equals button add. I will say read number one. I'm gonna read number one. I'm gonna read number one. I'm gonna call my class number read. So I already read the number one. And then I will set this text to empty. So I can give chance to user to enter another number. And I want to add C1. Perfect. And I want to make sure my other integers are zero. And the C. Okay. So the rest of the buttons are going to be the same. So I copy and paste three times. And but that with name. I'm gonna change the name. I'm gonna change this number here. I'm gonna change name here. I'm gonna change this number here. And I have one more division. Change this. This number. Okay. So, how I'm going to read the second number? For reading the second number, I need to use equal button. So, when the source equals, when the user click the equal button to read the second number, which is going to be number 2, and I will call my class here, number reader, 
and I read this number. After I after I read read the second number, I'm gonna check which operation I'll do. If add C bigger than zero, I'll do adding operation. So I will say result equals number one plus number two. So now my result. I need to put my result up here, but my result is double, so I have to convert it to a string. So I'm gonna do it. Text dot set text. After I did that, I'll say double to string. My double. What is my double result? Very simple. So I have to paste it three times because I have sub C multi C and deep C. So what I need to do is I need to change these operations here. This is that, this is that, and that's going to be the division. So my calculator is done. So now I can check and see if it works well or not. So I add two to one, which is going to be three, right? And I want to multiply eight. She's going to get 24. So, I'm going to do the clear button in the next tutorial. Please subscribe our um, channel. And I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.